Hey guys, it's me, Natalie again, here with, I'm gonna say this is gonna be episode one of my Let's Play Subnautica Below Zero. And I say episode one because I did do a gameplay before, but that game, I actually ended up just going with it and I beat the game. Thank you to Chemical Apes. Uh, you should definitely check out Chemical Apes' YouTube channel if you want to play Below Zero because he literally has every video you could possibly ever want. Um, it's pretty much how I beat the game. <laughs> um, I did drag it out a little bit by doing a lot of base building because otherwise I would have finished the game in like probably like 25-ish hours. And I really wanted to stretch it out a little bit. So I had a lot of fun with base building. Maybe I'll show you that in another video. I made a pretty cool base with like the big rooms and like a glass dome on top. Uh, I kind of want to do that now. But anyway, we'll, we'll start with episode one. I'm going to start a new game. Uh, as you can see, I spent uh, a day and 15 hours working on my survival game that I beat. And then this was the one that I had started to record a new, but the sound didn't record one time and then my camera didn't record another time. So I'm just going to start over, alright? And I have tested it. I've done a test run, so you should be able to hear me and the game and see me. Uh, alright, let's start a new survival game. Yeah, I tried to record my video separately than the game, but my camera did not like it and overheated. I was trying to prevent me, when I get pixelated, you know, when there's a lot going on. Try to prevent the pixelization, but we're just gonna go this way, alright? Here we go. It's not a couple of I can take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is yes, it is. And Sam, we need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. Altera! <sighs> gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. We're not gonna miss you! Ha! I don't even know what that guy's name was. Cal, I think. Bye, Cal. He seemed like a nice guy. I shouldn't have said that. Approaching 45 46 feet. Surface. 45 46 feet. Such a creative name for an alien planet. Uh -oh. Gotta love the Subnautica crash landings. We're on fire. Need some coffee. These things are awesome. They keep the coffee cold like all day. Let me out! Muscles. That's what I'm talking about. Get a little glimpse of the disaster. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. I will try. Ooh, we got a first flare. I'm gonna grab all this kind of stuff. We got food, water. I really don't use flares that often. I should, probably should. New blueprint synthesized. But I really don't. I just let whatever it is attack me and then use a first aid kit. Uh, there's a lot of things that would be useful for me to actually use. And I always make them. But, like, flares and what else? Like the air bladder, the mineral detector, pathfinder. Those things, like, I never use them. Even though they would be useful. I don't know why. Alright. I think that's it for food and water. Gotta find a way to warm up soon. Oh, there's another piece of food over here. Yeah, yeah, I know you're cold, Robin. Hold on. It's hot here today. Holy smokes! So I'm wearing a pencil dress because it's windy and hot. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. I want to wear a dress, so I'm not hot. But it has to be a pencil dress so it doesn't fly up and show everyone my underwear. You know? It's tricky weather. The Subnautica Below Zero weather is a little trickier. So, got some cool storms and these heat flowers. They warm me up, in case you couldn't tell. Um, yeah, so I decided that to play the game plays of Subnautica Below Zero, I would do it, record it on YouTube. Alrighty, here we go! Blue Zero! Um, 
just kind of remember all right over here that's where we came from drop pod this way Let's see if i can grab anything on the way but i just know oh sea truck i mean sea glide fragment here I remember that there's so many of them though i don't really I probably need to um, but like a lot of people that hang out with me on Twitch also want to play Sonata Blue Zero and they haven't had a chance to yet. So I don't want to stream a game that people haven't played yet because I don't like in survival mode because I don't want to give away the story. You know, it's a fun part of the game. Uh, but I don't mind doing base building as long as I'm not activating the story. Like, when enough people, when people have had enough time to play the game, I won't worry about it as much. Alright, so if I face here, to the left is north, where we came. Alright, I'm gonna remember that. Left is where we left. Found the right pod. is right where we're going. Hmm? Alright, we got our I first. I want to offer my sincerest condolences this is Lillian. The of your sister. I got to know Sam better towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as base mates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know it didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. Altera. The Samantha Ayu oh, was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her Black work, fish. but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. Delta Station? They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. <laughs> there it is. has a big radio tower. Impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Thanks, Lillian. All right, grab his copper. Well, Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. All right, so we got our first clues. Contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. We want to hunt for materials and look for uh, that base that she was talking about. All right, we can make a scanner. Excellent. All right, I I want right, to see. I have a scanner. Yeah, we do. I want to see if I can make stuff before it gets dark. O2 tank, yes. In order to do that, I need a knife, flashlight. I want that immediately. Compass. It's gonna take me a second to find silver, but I will want that. Fins, rubber, yes. Uh, all right, that's that's pretty good. All right, so what do I want? Stuff. <laughs> What I want is a lot of things. We're at the beginning. Very good place to start. Start scanning stuff. I uh, gotta watch my oxygen at the beginning because I forget that you only get like 40 seconds or something ridiculous. All right, got a piece of copper. Scan this coral bridge. Scan anything. I need air already. I find in the beginning that the computer is just constantly yelling at me that I need oxygen. <laughs> All right, so limestone gives us a chance at copper. Uh, copper we use to make electronics with these ribbon plants. <clears throat> So a new game. I try not to grab too much stuff that's redundant at the beginning. Oh man, I'm already running out of oxygen. Oh man, this has lead in it. Oxygen. Alright, I'm going. I'm going. I might die already. Oh no. It's going black. Alright. I'm gonna save. Save early, save often. The last video that I tried to make that didn't end up working out, I did actually suffocate and die. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. And I only had like 30 seconds. And I, I was busy. I found stuff, it was exciting. Oh, this peeper, the peepers are too too fast for me at the beginning. Um, all right. It would be cool if I could find some seagull fragments. 
Those were in one direction. We saw a couple closer to where we came. Which was this direction. Something I can scan here. I I will read that stuff at night. I don't like wasting my daylight hours. Oh, maybe I can catch this angelfish. Or a boomerang, I guess it's called. These things aren't as friendly as you'd think. They look cute, but they're not that cute. Oh, here we go. We got our first sea glide fragment. Now I just need two more. I kind of do want the sea monkeys to rob me in the playthrough, because it's kind of funny. I think it's a little cute. At first, when I first started playing, it really irritated me. It, it, it scared me that it was robbing me. But then I realized that they're cute and friendly, so... They just want to, and they'll give it back if you take it back. You know, they just, they just wanted to play with it for a little bit. Also, sometimes they find resources and then you can steal them. <laughs> I rob the sea monkeys just as much as they rob me, so. Um, can't complain too much because they'll find stuff and pick it up and then I steal it. So we steal from each other. Um, yeah. Alright. It's getting dark. Have not done all the things I was hoping. But that's okay. I keep going to press my hotkey for the sea glide, but I don't have a sea glide. <laughs> Starting from the very beginning. Uh, Alright. Could use another sea glide fragment. I think I have enough to make a flashlight, which is good. Just need a piece of glass and a battery. So, copper, two ribbon plants, and two pieces of quartz. Just hoping to find the other secret fragment that we saw. Oh, this, this little ice thing right here is where Chemical Ape starts all of his tutorials, which I love because it makes... Well, for the ones that are more difficult, because it makes it just so much more precise trying to find stuff. Uh, definitely the best tutorials for Subnautica, maybe ever. I also really like Farkit for the forest. He does a great job as well. Um, the tutorials are just great. Uh, they're very precise. Uh, they don't, like, look around a lot. So, like, if you're trying to follow along, you get, like, you know, confused. Um, which a lot of people do. Uh, cause you're like playing the game, right? And you want to see if there's any like bad guys around that are going to try to get you. So you're like looking around, but they stay, they're just really easy to follow. Um, and just really well done. I would not have enjoyed either of those games as much without those videos, so. Subnautica in the forest. Oh, special thanks. I mean, I guess that's true of every game, right? Like, a lot of the streamers and the YouTubers just really make the game. Uh, they're just so important for enjoying it. Yes! No! Yes! Got it. Alright, I can go back to the base. I need to eat something. I, I wanted to keep my food blocks. I want to save those. I can make some more water, I guess. Eat something. I will. I will. I don't normally eat the little plants. There are plants that are closer to where we came from that are kind of cool. Oxygen. That you can eat. I'm gonna eat some fish. <gasps> sea glide fragment. Yes. How much room do I have? Ah! Oh, I have a bit of room. All right, I'm not going back yet. I want... Oh, here's the closest that I can see. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the food because I don't feel like cooking right now. <laughs> there's kind of a lot of food blocks in the game, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, there's a sea truck fragment, I think. No, that's a hole to a cave. I thought it was. Oh, I think there's a sea monkey cave there. I don't have enough air, though. 
There's a sea monkey. Creep van. Sea monkey's trying to rob me. I wonder if he did. Where'd he go? Sometimes they grab something and they don't. You don't notice. But usually, they like. <laughs> the animation just like stops you in your tracks. And it grabs it from you. Alright. So now I spend time scanning something and then they notice I'm here. Hey, look at him! He's trying to grab my stuff. Little sea monkey. Look at him! Blueprint Try to steal my things! Yeah, yeah, I see you. He's still chasing me. Where'd he go? I hear him whistling at me. I don't see him anymore. I was trying to scan you, monkey. Get back here. They're kind of cute. I really don't mind it that much. Gotcha. Gonna be my snack later. I wanted to... I like the voice animation Robin does when she gets robbed by a sea monkey for the first time. Robin's the main character. <gasps> we got the sea glide! Yeah, yeah. And she says, ah, some of the wildlife down here is really grabby. Hoopfish, I'm not gonna grab this because it has like no calories in it. It's kind of, they look cool in the aquarium though. I'll put them in my little aquarium, but I normally, um, Got a peeper! Those are the most caloric. I'm so happy. They have the highest amount of calories. Of the fish. There we go. Am I completely full? Yeah. No room for anything. Alright. Swimming, just keep swimming. I'm not really a fan of Ellen anymore, ever since it came out that she's a huge beep. Um, <laughs> sad. Um, okay, let's see. We want, we're gonna want some lube. That's what she said, for the sea glide. And <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not very appropriate sometimes. Or a lot of times. All right, so what do I wanna, I wanna make a knife first. So I can cut some of that creep vine. Um, but we also want more of these so that we can make fins. Those are helpful. Boom. All right, so let me just take these off the screen. Uh, knife, no more. Fins, no more. Do need a flashlight. Um, and make battery here. Then we can make a flashlight. I also make an air bladder, but I never use them. But at least I'll have it in case I get in a pickle. If you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, oxygen. the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. Oh, I can drink both of these. <sighs> I can't wait to get one of those water filters. I love the water filters. All right, so next we also want to build oh, the sea glide. Very awesome. Yes. Uh, I need more ribbon plants for another battery. I'm sorry. All right, we shall do that. I also need another seed so I can even these out. Hmm? All right, so my sea glide's gonna go in spot one. So I, I, I don't want this in spot one. Okay, can I take it out? Put it in spot five. And then I want my flashlight three and my knife is four. That's usually how I have it. I put the sea glide in one, scanner two, flashlight three, knife four. And repair tool or habitat builder in five. That's just how I've always done it. So it helps me remember what button to press. Keep it the same. Um, okay, 
So sea glide, what did it what did we need? Oh yeah, we need ribbon plant. Alright, so that should be pretty easy to find. As I, whenever I say that, I curse myself. <gasps> Yay! We got a cash little thing. Yes! Okay, super duper. I'm sure we'll find some ribbon plants along the way. Um, okay. My goal for these uh, playthrough videos is to keep them around 30 to 45 minutes so the file isn't too big or just like too much to watch at once. I know some people like the long ones because you can just like put it on while you're doing the work and just listen. Oh, I thought there was a fragment there. Oh, sea monkey! I'll let him, oh look, he's robbing me! Give it back, sea monkey! Some of the wildlife down here no! is very back here. Grabby. Got it. Um, oh no, I'm dying. <gasps> okay. Uh, that was kind of cool. I was hoping that would happen. <laughs> Alright, where did the cash go though? Oh, there it is. Okay. That was cute. I like that. I don't know. I think it's kind of cute. Oh no, it's a stinky fart. You can collect the farts to make torpedoes, if you didn't know that. Um, once you get the torpedoes. Get some air. <laughs> Ooh. I, oh, I want... Oh no! What happened? It froze me! How, this has not happened to me! What the hell was that? I have no idea. What, what? How did that happen? I got the creature egg. Maybe the thing bit me? Because I know those little cute penguin things are actually not so uh, friendly. So it may have been that. Or maybe it's picking up the egg. I don't know. Oh, this isn't an egg. This is the grab trap. I never used this either. It's a little easy to just um, grab a fish, you know, you don't really need it. <gasps> PDA! I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? I gotta go Was up. it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? Whoa. In a cave. Not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. <laughs> sea monkey's trying to rob Planet me again. B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. I could show you, but yeah, yeah, yeah. can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. <gasps> how much room do I have? I have a bit of room. I'm gonna grab the rest of this stuff. I'm gonna come back here and explore those caves down there, the sea monkeys. Ooh, this, I don't want the beacon. I just want to be able to make my own. I want to keep that there. I find it useful. Till I get my compass, you know? Alright, there's a few more down here. Don't have very much time. Oh, God. Can I grab this before I, I die? It wasn't even silver. So no, you get Oxygen. silver out of those, I think. Either lead or silver, I forget. Alright, I need to grab a sea glide and a bigger air tank. Now that I have the equipment to do that. Oh, there's another thing. See, this is addicting. Just want to grab it all. Watch out for those sea monkeys. Uh, when I was building my really cool, super cool base, the sea monkeys kept <laughs> coming up to me and trying to steal things when I was very busy. And one of the times I, I hit it really hard with a knife <laughs> and just instantly just died. 
I felt kind of uh, bad. I mean, I know it was a game, but it was very violent of me. <clears throat> All right. Hopefully, I can get out of this before I lose air. Should be able to. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Breathe. Just breathe. <gasps> okay. I see monkey. I wonder what that thing was that made me freeze to death. I bet it, maybe these things bit me or something. Or maybe it was touching the egg. I don't know. When I make an alien containment take, I really want one of those things floating around in it. At the end. It's so fun. Uh, I'm excited to work on my base where I finish the game because I have all the blueprints and stuff so I can pretty much make whatever I want. Though I am still missing the nuclear waste disposal so I need to grab one of those. I've only used one rod so far that needs to be recycled but it's okay. Alright so what do we need? We're gonna need some copper wire battery. Oh, I never got more ribbon plants. Oh, I need... Uh, fiber. Let's make this air tank. It'll be very helpful. Alright. Air tank. Yay! Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. Super. Don't need that. We already made the flashlight. Uh, we need a compass and sea glide next. Uh, the standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. Alright, I need another battery. So, this. Need one more of these and one more of those to even it out. And this creepy egg. Save. I don't know if I've saved recently. Alright, so we need to find a cave that has uh, Oh! Here we go. Need these green thingies. Alright, I want to refrain from grabbing too much stuff as I say that and I keep hitting things. Because I do not like making those uh, titanium lockers. <laughs> I feel like it's such a waste of titanium. There's not that much space in that. Okay. Mm. Alright, battery time. Battery time. And. Yes! Sea Glide! The Sea Glide is a personal transportation device. Used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Yes. I think the map is kind of useless, but. I mean, it's not. You can see a little bit. But it's ha too hard for me to, like, find where I want to go using it. So. Okay. Now we can put things in their spots. This goes in one. This goes in two. Perfect. Now I just need my habitat builder or repair tool. All right, I'm gonna go back to that cache. Try to find some silver in the monkey caves. Try to refrain from breaking open more limestone since I have tons of that. But what I did want to do is even out. Just need one more of these. Cause you make things with two. So if you only have one, it takes up a ton of space. See, it takes up a lot of space, bugs me. Is this something? Oh, this could have. Oh my God, silver! We got silver. We got we got silver. Silver. Oh my God. It means we're close to making a wiring kit. Need gold too, though, for uh, computer chips. Grab more of these. A lot of salt down here. All right, so. Galena and Argentine crops are really what we're looking for. I'm gonna point and save in case I die. 
I think there's oxygen bubbles down here though, so it should be good. And sea monkeys, they steal things. So we should find something on their nest. Yes. Where they Oh the mobile vehicle bay. Nice. Eh. There we go. Okay, cool. Scan this. Getting all the scanning. Get my oxygen plant. Uh all right, we're looking for... Stop picking up that stuff. We're looking for the special things that we don't have. Ooh. Does that hurt thing hurt you, I wonder? I'm not here to find out. Gold! We got a piece of gold! Yes! Yes! Another piece of gold! Fish, run! All right, I want the stuff that it exploded. I mean, that it was in its nest. Yes, sulfur. All right, I need another. Um, sea monkey better not grab this. I need an oxygen bubble. Got another piece of silver. Oh, I found an oxygen bubble. Excellent. I heard a thing. There it is. Come on, come at me, bro. Wait, come on. Get over here. There we go. Oh, there's just an egg in this one? That happens sometimes. I hate that. All right, well, I need another piece of oxygen. Oh, well. Warning. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oxygen remaining. I got it. Relax, lady. Try to grill stuff up here before we go down further. Yes, silver. Yeah, hi, monkey. You're not getting my stuff right now. Get away! Need more oxygen. There's more stuff I want to get done in here. I'm not done yet. More oxygen. Bubbles. Hello, monkey. And another monkey. Is this gonna open soon? Yes. Gimme. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Weird. What's this? An architect artifact. Oh no, I'm going a little out of order now. Um, it's alright. We're ahead of the game, man. I want to scan this because I would like to know if it's harmful. Scan this. Uh. I need another oxygen bubble. Here we go. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Hey! Give it back! No! I want that. That's mine. Give it back to me. <laughs> oh no, my inventory is full. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of a piece of titanium. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen this. remaining. And I gotta get out of here. Because oxygen and also the sea monkeys are very grubby. Alright. Alright, our inventory is full, so might as well go home. If I can figure that out. Let's make my way back to you. Ooh, ah, there's so many things down here I want. Oh, it's nighttime. My inventory is full. Lame. <sighs> okay. It's going back down under. Go this way. Okay. Next, I'm going to explore the twisty bridges. Oh shit, we're already at 34 minutes and I haven't done the twisty bridges yet? Shit. I wasn't paying attention, man. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, man. Well, okay, maybe we make this video like 45 minutes <laughs> because I want to do that. I like the habitat builder so I can make some storage. Um, all right. I'll make a compass because I can now. Storage is so full. I, I'm not making one of those waterproof lockers. I hate those things. I'm not doing it. I hate them. No likey. All right, now we get a compass. Yes. Very cool. Uh, this other stuff that I don't really care too much about. I could make a mineral detector, but I never use them. All right, so I'm going to drink some... Uh, eat a fish. Uh, make a boomerang to eat. <laughs> oh. Maybe I'll eat another one. Make some room in storage. Since I'm still hungry. And they're pretty easy to get. Mm. Mm. I think I'll probably need a rubber more next. Should I, do I have any of the lubricant? No. All right, I'll do that then. How many do I have though? How many do I, there we go. Some glass. I'm trying to make some room in here. Wiring kit. Uh, I should have saved one of the silvers though, because there's something that you need. Oh, that's alright. <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna keep titanium on me and put more rare things crafted things in here because in case a sea monkey steals something I can't get back you know all right make some fiber mesh oh. look at that more room right. save cool oh it's so dark is the sun coming up or is it going down? I'm not sure. I can see pretty well. Alright, so we got this being north. I want to turn around and go this way. Have some fun. I'm going to save. A lot of sharks where I'm going. Do I have a first aid kit? I do. Okay. So this is where I'm going. There's a lot of cool stuff this way. This is where I died last night. Because I got so excited, I was scanning things, and then it was like, you have five seconds of oxygen left. Damn it! Ah. Alright, here we go. Make sure my lights are off. We already have the sea glide, I'll leave that there for later, for titanium. Warning, passing 100 meters. Oxygen. Ooh. We hear something. There's usually a platform around here. Where is it? That sounds like a distress call. Yes, it does. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200, 200 meters. meters. It's really like 180 though. Oh, I could use a couple of these. Maybe the thing is over here. Here it is! Ooh. See, this is where I died last time because I got excited scanning things. Or maybe it's not this one. No, not this one. There's another one, though. There's 
There's another one around this area that I would like to find sooner rather than later. What is this? What is this distress call? I'm pretending I don't know, even though I've played the beginning of this game dozens of times. I was playing it in development, and this was like obviously the first thing they had set up. It's really different when it, than it was originally. The story has very much evolved. All right, all right, all right. This is good because actually I'm late to do something that I need to go do. Oh. What is this? Such a critical. Hello. Hello. Is someone there? Hello. <gasps> We're running out of time. What is all this? Seeking emergency storage medium. I can help you better if you show yourself. If we could show ourselves, we would not need storage. You mean you don't have a physical presence? Are you one of them? An architect? Storage medium identified. We will be lost unless we find a new host. Can you help? Can you use my PDA for storage? You were not with the group from before. Your cybernetic components failed their signal. Altera? <laughs> no. We do not like Altera. Borrowed. <laughs> we'll have to do it. Dystopian tyrants. Volterra. How long have you been stored here? Longer than that. Warning. Sanctuary power. Critical. Can you scan Our that data thing? Can be downloaded no. from the terminal. We may speak more once the transfer is completed. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Hurry. Can't scan that. I thought you could. Oh. All right. Here we go. Storage medium accepted. Brace from Chester. Brace? Uh, what's happening? Chester. Uh, oh. I can drink with one hand, by the way. Chester complete. How do you feel? Why do you sound like you're inside my head? The facility identified hospitable capacity within your cerebral cortex. You are in, in my, my mind. Head? You're I in my you head. Get out! Oh no. Does your kind perceive a boundary between cybernetic and organic components? My mind is not a component. You sound angry. <sighs> we will allow you a moment to process. Hey! Don't you go silent on me. Hello? This is happening. This is not happening. That's the explanation. It's not happening. All right, Robin, we, we got to practice some radical acceptance. This is not happening. It's not a good response. You know? You're setting yourself up for failure there. All right, so I think I'm going to end this first Let's Play Subnautica Below Zero here. Um... And then next time I will find the habitat tool and make some storage. I saw a lot of YouTubers making um, small little storage areas for the beginning of their game with the habitat builder. Just making like one of the connector um, units that you like use to connect multi-purpose rooms. But using like... <laughs> try not to fall. There you go. Um, could go the way you're supposed to go, but I don't want to. There you go. So I want to try that out because that would be super cool if I don't have to make any of those uh, waterproof lockers. I find them to be so annoying. <laughs> so I'm like, ah. Oh, also, I'm going to take, made the compass, take that off. We're going to want to make the rebreather next, though. Uh, repair tool. Well, we don't need that yet because we haven't made sea truck. We want the mobile vehicle. Uh, I would like to make a beacon. I'm gonna, I obviously know it's just one titanium, one copper, but if I leave this up here saved, and I'll remember to make one. Uh, what else? 
All right, that looks like it for now. Okay. All right. Cool beans. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, remember to uh, like and subscribe, hit the bell button, all that fun jazz, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thanks.